Hey, it's Dylan from Tinker Coffee, and I'm gonna show you how to make a pour over today. There's a few variables that we talked about in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go ahead and check that out. And this will make a little bit more sense. I've got everything here that I need for my brew and every variable that I'm talking about today will be applicable across many different pour over methods. First, I wanna make sure that I have everything I need here in place. I've got my kettle with hot water. I'm using really good water at just off boil. So my kettle is set to 210 degrees. I've got my filter, my brewer, my vessel, my scale. My scale also has a timer and I've got my grinder and my coffee. A spoon to stir the coffee and if you're messy like me, a towel is always nice to have around. The recipe that I'm doing today will be 21 grams of coffee and 350 grams of water. So about 60 grams per liter if you're looking for a good ratio. All right, we're ready to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna wet my filter with my hot water. And what this does is it can wash away any papery taste on your filter. It will also warm up your brewer and your vessel. You want everything to be really hot because you're gonna get the most out of your coffee that way. So quite a bit of water and make sure that your filter is nested nicely in your brewer. All right, I've dumped out that water. Now I'm ready to add my coffee. This grinder is set for 21 grams, so I'm just gonna grind this up. All right, coffee's all ground. I'm gonna add this to my brewer here, making sure that I get it all in the middle of the brewer, and then I'm gonna give it a little shake and just even out that bed a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring my water for what's called the bloom. The bloom is the first amount of water that you put in the coffee to fully saturate everything and prepare the bed for the rest of the brew. So I'm using 21 grams of coffee here. I'm gonna use about 45 grams of water, a little more than two times the amount of wa water here. And at the same time, I started my timer, so my brew has begun. I'm gonna give it a few quick stirs just to make sure that any of that coffee down at the bottom of the bed is fully saturated with water. The bloom lasts about 30 to 40 seconds. So at 30 seconds, I'm gonna start my first pour. And I like to do easy pour overs like this in two pours. The first pour is gonna go about 60% of the total brew volume. So 60% of 350 is around 210 grams. And I'm just pouring in a spiraling motion, making sure that I'm saturating all that coffee. And then we're just gonna wait and let it drip through a little bit. So I'm at one minute and I'm at 205 grams of water. So right now, this water is doing a lot of the extracting, moving down through the brew. I'm shooting for a total time of around two and a half minutes to three minutes. So I wanna finish pouring around two minutes of all of my water. All right, I'm at two minutes and I'm at 350 grams of water. So now I'm just gonna let gravity do the rest of the work and let the, the water drip through into my brewer. If it drips through really fast, and you end up with a time that's prior to two minutes and 30 seconds, go ahead and fine up your grind a little bit. That water will take a little bit more time with the coffee. If it's going really slow, coarsen up your grind so the water can drip through a little faster. Once this is done brewing, the coffee is gonna be really hot. So if you wanna pour it in your cup, wait a couple minutes before you start sipping, but I encourage you to taste the coffee and see how it changes in complexity. You may like it more when it's hot or less when it's hot. And each coffee is gonna be a little bit different. So dial in for your preference. Don't forget to slurp.